afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast. My host and Pearl Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to a one versus one on Novgorod our outskirts. In the north, it is Ronhold fighting for the German army. Deutschland taking on the role here of the 116th Panzer Schon Min Hunt versus the south, it is Forrest fighting for America, freedom, democracy. Taking on the role here of the 19th Infantry, we got Luther of Ground Force with Infantry, Panther, Flak, Half Track versus Mechanized Infantry and Heavy Cavalry from Lincoln there. Get access to the Heavy Fortifications, the Stuka Smoke Reconnaissance, Fighting Nagers, Bandit Assault, and Airborne Assault here with the Doctrine. Folks, with Kubang start here for Ronholt, Double Rifle start there for Forest. Also, a big thanks to Patrick for donating and supporting the propaganda cast with his hard earned money. So, big thank you, Patrick. You are well armed to keep doing this day after day, week after week, month after month. So, big thank you, and of course, all to my Patreon supporters who are also a big help in allowing me to keep doing this. So, thanks to everyone who wishes to support the propaganda cast as well. You can donate yourself or play on Patreon. Links in the video description. We got here, folks, out there for Ronholt. Moving hard west there for the fuel pond there. We got Rears moving westwards with. Forrest heading centre and east with his rifleman, putting more of his weight there with the reactions, possibly just acting A as a slight distraction with Connors' element towards the west since they're clearly not going for the fuel. Mechanised here for Forrest, typical choice versus the upper command vest. No, bit bold here considering how Ronhold had two doctrines of recall correctly with the access to Panzer for lead up, meaning, you know, he could theoretically just get Panzer without to counter the look. Cool, uh, dark truck there that Forrest might be going, but in this case, Forrest seems fairly certain that's not going to happen, and not won't matter, anyways. And certainly, Ronhold then went pretty quickly for the Luther of Ground Forces without necessarily considering this could be an option. We can, you can still deal with it, but the Panzer is with their anti tank rifle grenades being available right away make this considerably easier to deal with than without. Jump has less up in corporate the rest of the squad rifle squad. They actually move westwards there, leaving now run holds fuel, fuel point there. The explosive can avoid fire there, but plus the rest of the to deal with the rest of Oh, they got suppressed. Bad luck there for run hold. Kuban can grab territory in the east, holds moving through the center. We got another squad out there. You will need to either contact west, you need to grab the eastern fuel instead. Note here, of course, the dark truck can't grab territory. The other rifle squad here helps. Where some people can see, we can see there run hold is switching eastwards. Going to try and outmaneuver Forrest, who's got his troops inside the dart truck here. So, of course, now Ron Holt might be slightly cursing himself for not going for anything with Panzer for leading it. Dart truck there taking some damage. Kuban is doing some hits. The Fultz are landing in some shots there. More Fultz are moving in. Pushing back here, Forrest and his merry band of Yankees. Back here, Stone Pine needs to be enforcement. We're probably seeing more infantry. They, of course, could try to go for fast tech here. Our uh, eastern few, they're now open. If not, none of these points here secured. He probably wants to do that soon. Moving up here to Sandback. Cool, but we probably just grab points here in the rear lines. Western few put almost seized here by Forrest. Troops here, hard at work with Sandbags. Trot on the way, plus full squad there for Ronholt and the 116 Panzer and Windhund. Doctor, they're being repaired in the cold, cold snow. The crew is wishing they brought their sweaters. Sweaters. This one's moving out here. We got Frank moving northward. He's going to try and swing in behind here. Ronholt. He needs to be careful there. We got the third full squad out there for Ronholt. Almost got the eastern fuel here. Quick and nice maneuvering there by Ronholt, by the way. He could only try and stick to the western fuel pump. He decided just to swing hard east, catch Forrest off guard. You know that way up maneuver him. Of course, now this entire area is just a wide open frontage, and Forrest is pushing hard against the entirety of it. Of course, that means it's going to be vulnerable somewhere. There you go. Lieutenant out here, Forrest. Striking here at Ronhold's southern flank again. He's got no panther first yet. Now, the Lieutenant, it becomes much more dangerous since the Lieutenant has a thumbs up close. That's really powerful. In this case, Dart Truck taking a lot of damage as he gets focused on Kuban joining as well there. The Lieutenant, of course, now jumping out of the Dart Truck to open up the cracks and allow the Dart Truck to escape the vicinity there. Reasonably safe to Kuban, but it's not been repaired. Eastern position here, not looking too good for Ronhold. He's being overwhelmed by Forrest's uh, valiant freedom. Lovers, Steel Pan is moving in. The Ralph Gort Lieutenant taking heavy caps. The Kuban getting met into one, two kills. Man successful in the eastern fuel pond in the south. We got Fulton's rifle in the west. I mean, Cavalry rifle out here for Forrest. Probably going to actually chomp some to them for increased firepower. Brian Hunt going to have the rifle. Truck has yet to step here for Ronhold. Could be Belgrade headquarters. Could be mechanized though. Considering he's got flag half type bulletins, mm, Belgrade headquarters seems a lot more likely here for Ronhold. Plus, if you're going to go for five Smegas, you kind of want that as well. They don't have to. Van Hunt going out there, flashing out the rifle, going for the car front here. Kuban sneaking up behind the rear. And Steel Pan is pinned to the ground under the voluminous volume fire there, or volume fire there, of the rear echelons. The carbine singing out shot after shot. 
But there you go, Kuban rang into the scene, three kills. And there you go, Yankees pushed away. Need to get that car point back here, troops have been forcing. Need to grab that decent victory point as well. We've got a victory point lead here for Forda so far. Reasons they almost wiped out. Close to death, but no, one man runs through the snow, leaving his comrades behind. And there we go, we got the dark truck with Cal Rifle with Thompsons in it, charging out there. Like a bus full of democracy. Fox there about to beat fall back here as Forrest's is well freedom bus. They're striking hard and there you go. The Fox won't, won't make it out. They got Panther Faust it, but oh maybe just might be able to make it. No. No, yeah, he didn't. That was a bit too optimistic there by Ron Holt. A bit too optimistic. Of course now that the Forrest is hitting hard east. Ron Holt switches the table again and it hits west. Good maneuvering so far here by Ron Holt against Forrest. Tries to avoid getting bogged down in pointless attritional warfare, which is not really what the Orbital Commander and Wishes should do. It's much more fluid mobile fighting. And Ron Holt so far is definitely displaying a good understanding of it. So two thumbs up there to Ron Holt. Of course, the Mechanized kind of want to do the same. And to some extent, Forrest has it as well, but he's uh, perhaps not necessarily so fluid. Though, okay, the dog truck is running with a lot of fluidity. It is worth noting he has yet to upgrade this one. Perhaps he's just expecting it's going to get blown to bits anyways. Brian from Martin here taking some. I think a light roast there from the Banham Ganadi. At most, you know, a tan, but no serious damage. <clears throat> Flag half tag almost done there for Ronholt. And we got Falschemjägers. Elite German infantry. The Green Devils. Charging through the snow. Flag half tag almost done. Falschemjägers landing somewhere. Here we go. Landing by the point. And there you go, 2 3 point, 17 out there for Ronholt. Kuban being caught by the advancing dark truck. They're still on is moving out, ready to support here. Fighting up there, we're going to get a panther fast that probably then follow up with a flag half to destroy it. There we go, damage and you should jump with the lieutenant. Flag half track rushing in as well, fighting his round. Of course, up close, they're going to get hosed otherwise. Trying to pop up to repair, we got the flag half track moving up, losing the western fuel point again here to Fortis. Right now to fire. From the flag up to attempt at fire, though he can't really shoot past the tree lines. Those trees fill the squirrels, proved to be a sufficient shield. Oh, got too close. There we go. Satchel. Oh, get away, get away. Get away, Ron Holt. Scheiser. I think he was actually trying to get in the way, then the retreating rifleman to me. So that way, wipe them, but no, it didn't quite pan out. And the cavalry rifleman, get away there. Close one here, though, for Forders. Very close. A hair's breath from getting unwound there, but he pulled through. Kubang, meanwhile, does not have that much. Luck and instead just explodes across the frozen fields. Right from there, getting blasted with a flag half tech, heavily damaged. Jumping between treaties, Stuart, Stuart Lighting on the for Fortis. Fortis so far is leading. Ron Holt is struggling with some casualties there, and uh, his fluidity is now being locked down due to the dark truck, which again is providing Fortis with a lot of mobility that way counter Ron Holt's mobility. Of course, the flag half tech can sort of help, but uh, even that is struggling with a damaged engine. Troops are handling forcing. Fortis are paying for more poaches there. We've got an ambulance also on the way there to help provide support for his troops. Fire to make setting up. Ron Holt will need a raquette in there for here. Season the Western Fuel Pony with the full skinner dealer. Fire to make is advancing on the center victory point. Car 90Ks and FT42s clenched tightly in their hands. Storm Pony taking eastwards. Troops are reinforcing. And get a Stuart Light tank out here for Fortis. By late 1944, they were starting to bring in the M24 Chaffee to replace it. Though I think there was only like one division, maybe one company that got them before the war ended. But basically, it was, you know, light tank with sloped armor, but they had, they had rough, a gun that was sort of roughly equivalent to the Sherman 75 gun. Same caliber, just I think slightly shorter, but some stuff to make up for it. So, it effectively, a very potent light tank. But again, just never saw much usage. Fought the trouble, though, versus the dark truck here up close. Trying to buy Tom here, but with the steward moving in, that is not going to end up nicely there for Ron Holt. He's got the Ken at least. Looks like another wipe here as Ron Holt uh, got a bit, I think, too overconfident here versus Fortis, or maybe missed up otherwise. Good wipe here for Fortis. Definitely a bad spot here for Ron Holt and the German army. Goodbye to Lightning off there. Rather than getting hosted by the Falchi Magus, caught taking some nasty damage. Flag half attack, Sturm Puniming up the east side. Send the white here, there you go. Stuart Light Tank charges here at Ron Holtz Falchimega as Forrest and the 90th in division shows no mercy to the crowds. Falchimega's less than half health, three men forced to retreat for the snows as the Stuart continues to whittle off shot after shot. Going for the Eastern Fuel Point again. Ron Holtz, despite all of this, 
intense action and pressure from Forrest is maintaining some good map field fluidity today. He's not just getting caught up in one point at a time. Stuart then engaged with the Kenneffer and the South Lieutenant trying to push through the flak fire, but instead they're only finding death and more high close rounds. Now the fight to make a squad here for Ronholt, replacing his infantry losses with more elite Falchimiega. Looks like drawn by the Eastern Fuel Pond here. That can have routed by the Sewer Light Tank. Ronholt's situation so far is looking a bit uh, desperate. His only probably bit of luck is that Force yet to rush ahead for tanks. He meanwhile is going for weapon ranks, which certainly won't have eye. And there he goes through onto the flat half tank here. Fights with him by Quick Prime Panther Fausted. Doing some damage to the two centimeter flat gun on the Stewart. Got the fuel point in the east. Troops hitting the car point. Flag half tank falling back. Fights with him ahead. There you go. Panther fast off. Then the Stewart light tank. Almost finishing off there, but not quite. Following up here, lots of back and forth here between Forrest and Ronholt. Those are being hammered by the flag half tack. Casually is piling up on the unfortunate reaction squad, wiped and annihilated. Good handling there, eastern fuel points of victory point being secured. Fuel, of course, on threat. And there you go, Dart truck charging ahead again. Panzer fast off. Crew popping out there, Fortune moving up. Fortune makes moving up with a kid moving in here. Fortune moving with the Right by the eastern fuel point. He needs to get that flag half tech fixed. That was risky. Holy smokes! Accidental treaty by Forest. He might have accidentally selected the vehicle as well. And they abandon the dodge truck here for Ronholt to secure for the fatherland. Hello, Jorgen. Yeah, it's a new auto. Yeah, it's American. Which means it's not very efficiently designed, is it? Nine and probably has lack security standards. Yeah. So they haven't even heard of seat belts. See, that's uninvented yet, Ludwig. Oh, scheiße. Anyway, trying to defend here, getting suppressed by his own flag captain. And there you go. Stuart moving in to get the flag captain out of the kidney to turn around there. Pop smoke. Nebel. Nebel. Scheiße, that's too late for that one. There you go. Smoke pop, but yeah, can't hit through the smoke now. Send a kid moving for Ronholt. And the Stuart races off there. Bit of an awkward one for the run halt. Fight hot daughter. There's abandoned still. Will he grab it? Will he seize it? Will he turn against the Yankees? I mean, it could give Ron Holt some uh, need of mobility here with the fight to make a score driving around that. That would actually be pretty impressively mean. I mean, just imagine, you know, doing a drive by with four FG 42s in that thing. Again, we're moving up season eastern points here. Major out for Forrest. That's going to be a major issue there for Ronholt. Need to reinforce those. I need to fix up the dark shot. I need to turn against the Yankees. Need to take up as well. Swimming got right in the camera. Coming up as well there. He's going to nab it. Now he's going to salvage it. That certainly also works too. Would have been cool if he tried, but I certainly don't blame Ronholt for just salvaging since he gets 15 feet, I believe, out of it. The salvage is an abandoned vehicle like that, which of course will help towards arm and whatnot, and then he's certainly been struck with fuel there against Forrest. Camera from head here, plan and gun off, didn't quite hit the match, still gets off some damage there on Forrest's infantry. Troops are healing forcing, I think he's at West again, I mean, he even got a fuel cash out with Forrest, he's really just pushing for the tanks here, and that's going to be definitely awkward there for Ronhold if he doesn't, you know, do something about that situation soon. The whole camera will certainly help us the vehicles and even the tanks. He may also want to send a machine gun soon to help deal with the army. We got the Schwerer Panzer Corps on the way there. Schwerer Panzer Outquartier for the 116th Panzer Division. So far being held aloft here by the Falchimegas. And their valiant sacrifices in the name of Deutschland. The crew they retreated. Still looking for that Dodge truck, but they simply can't find it. And at the way as the Germans scrapped it for parts. Stood moving in there. I really loved that dodge truck, Charles. I, I really loved it. I hope the Germans didn't do anything mean to it. Anyways, we kept them going out there. Good hit on the steel light tank. Doing heavy damage through with those 88mm rockets. Forcing the way there. Fight to be moving out. Got that truck sitting out there for Ron. Holt sees in the western party for the Falchim Jäger. Back here, troops reinforcing. Ambulance providing plenty of healing. There go for us with the 40 minute Sherman. Whereas Ron Holt is. Probably 14 minutes away from getting a tank. Eastern Point is secured. We got 167 versus 485. A notable gap in victory point between 4S and Ronholt. A notable gap. Schwerer Panzer up here going up. Ronholt going out on the side of the church there. Fartsman might try and push in there. Maybe not. Bring Westwood C. 
Church continues to burn. Gotta watch somewhere. Guess there's a bomb grenade. Oh, he caught them there. Fortis wasn't paying attention. They could bounce the land and went off. Cheeky. Parts from there. Mentioning 210 kills. We have Hunter almost done. Which one he can't begin upgrading them with the FT42s, which of course would be quite helpful against all these bad up rifle. I kept running up expecting vehicles. Maybe misclick. Maybe just things happening too fast here for Ronald to set up. Shum the rowing here for 4S and the 19th infantry division. Folks coming up here, folks down the lieutenant. Doing heavy damage. There they go. The 10th force back. Who needs to be murdered next? 4S could consider the mines here and there, if possible, at least with his rear echelons. Could help you with any potential drone vehicles. Shum going ahead here, though, adding the fifth cup and the dozer blades. Of course, the dozer blades are great for having the Sherman absorb more damage. But Kevin landing so hits, almost taking out the Sherman here. Stood raising in here for four days, going straight for the Kenner. Was up close to the Kevin, not get panting faster though. No authorized. Oh, he died to his authorized. Great there for Ron Hot. Bit of problem there for four days, gonna make it hard for him to get the fuel point. Though, of course, it could just bring up more armor or back tech for a captain planted tank gun. So he could also, I suppose, go for more to try and deal with it. Up to does for Sherman, they're flanking behind the Kevin Airfus. And that's gonna be awkward there for Ron Hot to put in mind, particularly since a high chance of Sherman or the by Kevin over there, number two gets wiped, at which point, of course, that's going to end up in Fordes' control. Yes, indeed. Then again, it can keep a line of sight. The Shower Punch Quarter will be able to cover it up. Show them they're pushed back by the Shower Punch Quarters. Troops are healing forcing, setting out, rushing ahead. Show them falling back, repairing pretty close to the front line here. Ron Holt dropping in with Fudge Omegas. Ground like Kevin over there under Ron Holt's nose. Troops setting out. I find it a bit amusing he's repairing something there right by another unit got murdered due to a blind spot. Hey Charles! Yeah? Is this a safe place to repair? Yeah. What about those, you know, blood stains? Um, I'm sure they're German. Yeah, they look distinctly American to me. How can you tell? Fat. Oh. Anyway, troops setting out there. Fudge are setting out. Well, guess not. Oh, that was close there. He could actually walk away from the tanks. There's always something you have to be careful about the Americans. I suppose that's the risk you have to when you have to stuff like this. You can actually just end up handing over the tank to the opponent if you're not careful. Still, it's kind of risky to do so close to the front line. I mean, of course, it means the tank can quickly just get into action, push further ahead. But, you know, if something happens, you know, suddenly the Germans got themselves a nice boiter panzer. A booty tank. There you go, hard work repairing the tank. Very good there for Fordes. Ron Holt is not far off from a Panzer IV. Going ahead to it. There he goes, Chairman Operational here for Fordes. And there you go, as soon as it's ready, we got infantry lining up to push ahead. We've got a Kedmev as well. Good push there. Stuart taking heavy damage. Forced to fall away, though there's nothing threatening his rear there. Good for Fordes. Ron Holt. Oh my god! Nice hit from the Sherman. Did he even lose a fudge gun in the squad somewhere? I think he did. Yeah, that might have been wiped there by the Sherman. That is bad news for Ron Hogg, to put it very mildly. And our Sherman squad on three needs to flank in and deal with that. There we go. We got the fudge guns moving in. We'll try and clear out the McKenna and force away the infantry. Until he caught in as well, then this could end up really badly for Ron Hogg and the German army. 142 versus 451. Fudge makers hosing down the camera up and up close. Showing no mercy. Taking no prisoners. Shrap Hunter Quarters is barely holding on. Fudge Squad almost wiped out. But looks like it will survive here in these side fights. We're about to get wiped out. We get a bounded landing there. Forcing retreat on the end. Needs to retreat those fighting before the Sherman annihilates them. Close hit there from the Sherman. Back here, troops reinforcing healing. More far there. Sherman hits there. The vets in the three fights in the air. He's actually. Able to go for another Sherman now. Would not be a bad idea. Could also go for the Scots, I suppose. Sherman lands another hit there. Eight kills. Almost got the Sherman there. Almost got it. Slow of health left. Slow of health. And we got the 7 6 machine on the way here for Fordes. Fixing up the Sherman. Close to the front line. Well, not close to the front line. I would say Ronhold would have to get insidiously lucky to pull off a heist here. On that one, and that had to be like a somehow premeditated heist in that case. Okay, Troops are healing and forcing. 
All right, Jürgen, we'll need three kilos of TNT, rubber duck, and a picture of Patton. In which case, we should steal an American Sherman. How do you know that, Egon? Where do you know it is? Just trust me on this. I have mine sources with the Americans. What sources? They all hate us. Trying to repair here. The cannon's opening up. Infantry nearby. Panther form is done, mate. Almost got the Sherman ready. Panther form is done. Can he finish it before? Oh, he got the Panther form, and then the Sherman Panther quarters explodes. He also managed to get one fighting with squadron with the FG 42s. So, Ronhold is in for a steep climb there. At least he has a tank, but his opponent has two tanks, including one of the 76 mm Sherman, which is going to really have a give the Panther IV a rough time there. Sherman charging head, the explosion's going off. Fighting is caught in the middle of the damn road as the Sherman closes in. Panther IV, the running, flanking it. Another Sherman going up here. Panther Faust there. Sherman down to half health. Another hit. Oh, misses, misses. Sherman hit. Engaged with the Kevin after the other Sherman flanks around. Panther IV goes for the damage. Sherman, good hit there. If he keeps it behind the Sherman, he has a good chance of taking it out there. Shot bounds. Oh, Scheiser. Hit the lead Sherman. Forrest there, but able to block the retreating sound signature. Oh, gets it with a flank shot there. Close one here. Should have smoked it. And by the way, by retreating, that was, I think, a bit too risky there by Forrest. Small win there for Ronholt. He's still going to struggle to, like, replace his tank. So it's the situation is not exactly vastly improved, but... Having to only deal with one Sherman rather than two is still a significant improvement here for Ronhold and the Germans. Troops setting up, reinforced like a kitten after. Fixing up the Sherman. Five is advancing towards the east. A motley group. Kedmerfa there on the way here for Ronholt. Heading eastwards now. Down in the western fuel point there, basically hoping can act as a uh, nice bit of bait that's allowed to switch hard east and catch off most of the map. Then maybe catch some of the forest units off guard and murder them. Isolated, I think that's a good move there. Fighting with Bible 54 getting to 4. Lieutenant being hammered there by heavy FT 42 fire. He's holding his ground there for freedom, democracy. And then he runs. And he's just there, Sherman going up, engaging the fight mix, causing a bit of nasty damage. Panther 4 not fully repaired, but you can see this wanting to commit it to the secret battle here. Panther 4 shoots, bounces off the Sherman's frontal armor here. There's those blades turning prime some improvised armor. Fight from squad, they almost wiped out with the Sherman again. Sherman down to half health feet, taking a hit from armor fire. There you go, Bazooka team's advancing here. On the run, holds one Panther 4. All the rockets missed, though. Ralph's got one on the flank of the damage engine, the Panther 4 holds like Kevin Airfus. Major about to go up with the Sturm Pioneers. Yes, listen, there's still a problem here. Need to focus on the down hard. Could get a white pin there. Go forward as soon as push back. Listen, about to get annihilated. Sturm Pioneers are doing what they can for Deutschland. Forest can go for another Sturm. In fact, he's flying a lot of manpower. You should just go for tanks and probably actually go for some fifth cover to help deal with some of Ronholt's infantry. I mean, a fifth cover would really give Ronholt's Fadschimega force a very bad time. Surprised Forest has not bothered with any fifth cover because he did go for the lieutenant. Fixing up the Sherman there. Panzer IV, they're good to go. Season Eastern Point. MG34 there for Ronhold. And a fit cover for Forrest. So they both roughly at the same time get their deer. They need a damn machine gun. I mean, not a bad idea. I mean, they both could do with it significantly for sure. Though Ron Hall could also do with some victory points by now, as he's starting to really run out. Big crew, they're spotted right above the Fudge Megas. We got 18, we got 5 kills there. And we got another 76 from Sherman out here for 4S and the 19th Infantry Division. Requesting armor support from nearby but armored battalions, as the 19th has been caught a bit awkwardly off guard here by the 116 Panzer that shown. Panda 4 down to 5 from the Kedner for there. We got 74 points left here for Ronhold versus Fordes. Again, we're moving ahead there. Sherman hit that direct hit from the Kenner. Pants for landing several hits as well. They're taking the Sherman down to very little health there. Oh, shots missed though. Got the other Sherman on the flank here. 
Panda 4, half health. Shaman is going deep in, going deep in. The Cubs are giving time to flat, turn around to deal with this. Armor threat on the flanks, Fox is being hounded here on the center. We got Cavra coming up, could try and pop a grenade here. And there goes Shaman under fire here, soon enough from the Shaman's leg and the Panda 4. A cannon air first, taking down to half health, Fox makers not popping grenade, they need to. We got machine, South Press are fine there. Got Robin Squad, goes down, leading 4S with only two infantry squads, one of which is the Lieutenant. Back to get a front hold, there may be a chance for all these fights when the Shion Party to turn the game around, even with the armor about if he handles his cards correctly. Forest Shell will have to replace the infantry. Losses there, it's going to be in a tough spot there. Apparently, just needs to build the strap on Queen Norris, got the FT 42 into the note there, always upgrading more of them. Surprised he's not going for the more veteran fighting for that upgrade, actually, rather than the uh, less veteran, in fact, the new ones. Damage into the Panda 4 again. Infantry moving ahead on the center, big support taking half from the Fudge Moves now. Ace level 26 kills. Two's being held down on the machine gun. Fifth car there is struggling as well. Fudge Moves falling back. We got the Bazooka team moving up, trying to pursue the Panther. We got the Fudge Moves stepping in though here by the church. Immediately holding them down, they do lose Fritz. Just reinforcing some infantry there for Fortes. Challenge being repaired. One rushing out again. Shilling forcing, Shion Pine is almost good to go. We got the fence in the eastern victory point. Shion Fang Hin smoking up the Raken Mavis. Good move there. Pants on the tough spot. Parts moving into support. Probably shouldn't be parking in the same spot though when you smoke the units, since again they're just gonna attack ground. Gotta keep a bit moving there. Also, that more to fart with. There's a bit of limit how much the smoke can do here, so I'm not entirely sure what Fortis had imagined would happen there. Pants for Dealing with the flanking lieutenants on the machine on the cabin air first. Five minutes old assisting, you're good in the Sherman. We're about to get wiped out there. Fox moving up, we got 32 kills. Machine gun the route it. The cannon moving up, shoots at the Panda 4. And there you go, Fox moves forced the capital drop. We got the Sherman moving up, it's the other one pulls back. Fifth couple of lying abandoned the Sherman there. Go ahead of the cabin and fire on the other Sherman there. Western few points east of Ronhold and the German army. Brutal stuff, we got the BS on Bazooka team moving out there. Ron of oh, Forest still not replacing his infantry casualties. Comparatively, Ronhold would at least been good to replace his casualties. Even he's been like replacing footsteps with fudge makers, he still replaces casualties. Comparatively, Forest is struggling to replace those losses. We got another show on whether for Forest is just being up more armor, so that can help, but you really want a minimum of three infantry squads, in my opinion. Well, that, that's gonna go up there. Go bun grenade on the right from the fifth cover. They're doing some damage, but not enough. All three squads now have an upgrade. No, by the way, this one still has, but it, if they're not at full numbers, for some reason, at times there can be a bug where they still it just shows like they don't have the FQ 42 for some reason. From the game, hammered by fire here from the Panther in the center. We got Stu and Punia moving out. Got the center victory point. Eastern one of all these wide open here for Ronhold. Brought up another Stu and Pioneer squad. Probably help repair with the tanks. We got smoke bombs in here. Tanks full bank here for repairs. Third one almost done here. Smoking up the fifth cover there. Good work. Should also tell him again the east side is open. He could actually grab the victory point and the fuel point if he wanted to. Looks like Ford's going to try and flank around here for uh, Ronhold's position. It's not a bad idea at all, though he may want some support. He could actually consider A, going for an infantry squad, cavalry rifle, and then going for a half check, and then stuff the half check with infantry. That way he could launch a thing more successful flank. But there you go. Shamming pushed back as now Ronhold launches center. He's learned victory points. And he should be a bit more cautious, but still I can see the lighting just charging now. We've got the Stu charging in. Sherman down. Other units the other one arrives. Stu's in front here of the Pantheform Academy. For the start spot here for Ronhold, but also for Forrest, depending on who makes the right moves. This going to have lost for either. Pantheform was down. Sherman with a damaged engine. Fartman landed here. Pantheform holding back. Got the Stu going straight for it. Good hit there. Stuart is frying. It's shell shock rounds. And there you go. Fartman moving up here to Panther fast it. Mission block damage. Sherman moving ahead here. Maybe Ron Hodge just like extended, could have himself open for defeat here. Stuart being repaired, Fudgeman's pushing ahead, he's challenging in at the Raketten F. Clearing out the Sherman crew! Holy shit! Forrest did not see this one coming, he did not expect that Ron Hodge would just ignore the tanks and go for his other tank. Oh dear, he went right behind Forrest and stole his tank, holy smokes! Ron Hodge's got the German spirit, good lord! Big crew being annihilated. Now Sherman is up against the other Sherman. As the fighting is just annihilating everything he's got left. The Kent could be holed up here. Sherman getting good, getting up hit on the Sherman. He's firing high explosive rounds. Needs to be judge armor piercing, by the way. I don't think Ron Holtz realized this. I don't think Ron Holtz realized this. 
unfortunately for Ron Holt. Still, I will say that that was one hell of a ballsy maneuver. He still needs to hit the eastern point. He probably should rebuild the Shrap Hunter quarters or build a mechanized to then try and go for King Talisker and some Pumas. Had we kept it fast enough, and or had he switched out to out of his round, I think a chance still. He should rush into the eastern point here. He should sneak on someone there. Rushing for the western point here. Forres is on it. Fox make a stream puny moving in like Kevin Rowdy. Almost got the Sherman there. Come on, Fawn Holt, get on the eastern point. New Forrest, grab the western one. Another Sherman away there for Forrest, he's not replacing him for losses. Rocking in against the eight. Virtually three stream pops up close to Sherman, so it's a good chance to get back from the machine gun. There we go, they're being absolutely demolished there. Troops in reinforcing, Fox from setting up, Chuck moving up here for Ron Holt, losing the western point. Bar drop, needs to grab the eastern point. Come on, Ron Holt. There's more to the map than the center. Smoke bombs in again. I think trying to figure out what's going on the western one and how his response be. It's still oh, eastern one is still open. Ron Holt, the eastern one is still open. Shiza. Setting up for Shrap Hunter's quarters again. Lieutenant charging into the MG34 and the Sturm Puny and now 4 with a BAR as well. Lieutenant is taking excruciating casualties. Is forced away under roaring machine gun fire. Going for this one here with the Ace Fox to make a squad 35 kills. Stewart moving up the left flank, could destroy the Shrap Hunter quarters. Now the Sherman ready here for Forest. Troops even forcing it to get out going. A camera fit for the similar hip turned up there. Right at the wrong time, allowing the Sherman to attack the front. But there you go, Sherman. Ah, oh, get killed on the Kevnafa. Stuart doesn't go down. Grand Eastern Point T needs to deal with the Sherman. Now again on the Kevnafa. Might lose them here. Fox Minutes will push back. Looking like a pretty bad situation for Ron Holt. Almost got the Eastern Victory Point here. Shrap Hunter calls activated. Stuart could be in trouble. A Kevnafa that cleared out. That's another one down here. He can go for. Oh, he can't. He's... Oh, he hasn't been authorized yet. I thought it was because of the way the gun had turned. Stuart down, but now the Shrap Hunter is about to go down. 26 versus 363. Cancels it. Please, he's just gone for mechanized regiment. And just rush out some Pumas at this point, I think. Trying to get close to the point. I can't remember if he's just getting his men destroyed there. Fox moving in from the east. And there you go. Runhold surrenders. A loss here for Runhold. A victory for Forrest. Was close at times here. Runhold, I feel, just. Should have had a bit more awareness of the battlefield longer into the match and also be more careful with this Shrap Hunter's cause placement. And finally, I think you should have just gone for Puma there. A mechanized range to Puma. And he gone for that. I think there's still much better chance going back against Forrest because Forrest is starting for our infantry, so you just need to help slow up the armor a bit with some good maneuvers. I think Ronhold could have won this initial guard again, trying to defend the center too much. I think it was a bit of a mistake long term here versus Forrest. As it made it easier for Forrest to just flank and deal with him. And that's not really a situation that favored Ron Holt at all. Still, it was a really close match from really good maneuvers on both sides. And then Ron Holt just lacked a bit there. So I hope you enjoyed this match. I've learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on, tell a friend, tell a family. But don't tell your enemies. This is Imperial Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you all tomorrow again for a nice episode. Bye.